Hi everybody, this is Red with uh, RedDragonLeo.com doing an update for Thursday here. Basically nothing's changed. We had another sideways consolidation day going nowhere. Frustrating both the bulls and the bears. So either we are accumulating and are going to launch much higher um, or the big boys are selling right now and they're holding the market in place while they sell. So, you know, we don't really know the answer to that. We haven't got any clues yet on like the VIX. If uh, if we've had any large buyers come in and start buying the VIX, don't know yet. Um, but you know, I like to go around and look at other people's charts a lot and get a feel for what they're thinking and see different time frames and moving averages. And here, uh, Tony, um, Tony's got on his charts, oops, um, he has, and this is his, his site, in case, if you haven't ever been to him, he's pretty much a, um, Elliott Way person, and he's pretty unbiased, uh, he's not always right either, but who the heck is, you know, nobody is, so. But it's on my blog roll if you're um, not familiar with Tony's stuff. I like to go check him out from time to time. You can see he's got the moving averages set at 89 and 34. A little different. A little different view than uh, the chart pattern guys or Cobra. So we get a little different view. And he's labeling it based on Elliott Wave. But again, I like to use Elliott Wave after the fact. So I still don't see any significant... Um, you know, clues here as to where we're going. You know, we're trading sideways. Um, does it roll over or does it uh, continue up? I mean, you look at it here on these daily chart, it's a major rising wedge. Uh, but look at where the RSI is 72.05. Uh, it's two to one buying versus selling right now. Now, is that the retail people buying or is this the uh, smart money buying? Um, we don't know. You know, the daily still pointing up, still has no, no significant signs of rolling over. Here on the weekly chart, um, you know, this is still, again, pointing up, rolling up, curling up. Any way we look at it, it is curling up. That doesn't mean it can't roll over at any given time. When you're right at that threshold, we're at the uh, 80 to 90 percent range of, of, of what we've went up. And at this point, you can either fall back down or keep pushing higher just a little bit more to squeeze out a little bit more people. And in this pattern, you can clearly see this majorly looks like a bull flag here in this 60 as it goes up, sideways consolidation. So, boom, there we go. You know, if we don't fall off a cliff tomorrow on the jobs report, the jobs data, if they're good and manipulated, then you can easily see us take out this 1131 high as they clear all the stops up there. So, you know, are they going to do that or are they just going to tank it from here? I don't know. So if the jobs report, it truly is based upon this news. Now, they already know it, of course. We just don't know it. But, you know, if they release something that's that's good, I believe it's um, <clears throat> continuing claims and initial claims tomorrow. And then the big one is on Friday, which is the non-farm payrolls. That's the big one. So, you know, if they manipulate those tomorrow to where they're halfway decent, they could easily pop it up here, run all the stops, and then turn and tank it. Very similar to what they did here. Look at this. Look at how they did this out. You know, they kind of, they kind of went up here. Not quite a bull flag. It had sideways consolidation for two, two or three days right there. And you're thinking it's ready to roll over the cliff. And what's it do? Boom! It pops up, gaps open, clears all the stops that were right above. Well, I guess in this area here, that'd have been 1120 area. So they shot up 10 points or 11 points, cleared all the stops, and then they tanked it. So they got out, you know, and so that's very possible because this is definitely a bull flag. Scrolling over here and looking at the uh, Cobra's chart, this is the VIX. This is a major falling wedge, just like a rising wedge on the other. Uh, you know, depending on where you draw your trend line, where you, I guess you could, if you drew it kind of even, you could say it was a, you know, um, um, a, tri a triangle part pattern uh, that that would pop out, but. And even here, this move up here and sideways consolidation down is a major bull flag, you know, especially when you look at this on the weekly chart. But so you got falling wedge should pop out at any time. It's just this thing is curling up. I mean, look, look at how close these Bollinger Bands are here. 
it's curling up for a big move, and I don't think it's going to fall off a cliff here as the market goes much higher. I really don't. Um, I think it's it's getting ready to, to pop. Uh, at any time, it could curl over. You know, it did pop back down again today, but at any time, this thing can curl over. Um, that's the VIX. Here's the rising wedge on the SPX. The, the statistics are any pop outside of a wedge that I have heard the statistics are 90% that it will fail, uh, which goes right hand in hand with a stop clearing jump to, you know, that 1140 range. Jump up here, clear all the stops, then boom, fall back in the wedge. You just don't jump up out of a wedge and, uh, and, and succeed and stay in there, staying up that high. You don't. You fall back. That's just the way it works. Um, but when I, other than a rising wedge pattern here, you don't really see anything else that I can see that is um, really, really standing out. And it's just kind of trendlessness. Um, different view here. This is just the SPY. Same thing. You know, we're up here um, at the, the RSI on this right here on the SPY is at 80.79. That's extremely bullish. Very, very, very bullish. Um, that's well over two to one buying, you know, 66. And when it's at 66, it's uh, two to one buying versus selling. So who's doing the buying? Is it the retail guy or is it the, the big boys? Personally, I think the big boys bought back down here and back down here. I think that some of them bought here. They rose it up, tanked it, bought some more, rose it up, tanked it, bought some more, and rising up here so I think they'll pop it tomorrow if the news isn't too bad maybe they pop it and run some stops and then tank it um, I'm thinking Friday could be a, a big down day with the non-farm payrolls maybe the initial claims are manipulated tomorrow and um, you know somebody's buying gold too you can hear it went right back inside this long-term um, channel so some smart marketers out there were, you know, accumulating and, and buying. Look at this. Um, now, is this bullish or bearish for the market? Well, it depends on, on whether or not it's a fear indicator that they're stocking up on it or whether it's more along the lines that the market is rising and, uh, you know, gold stocks are rising as the market rises. And there's different ways to look at it. Gold's a hard one to indicate, um, but certainly it's going up. So I don't know if this is fear or if this is um, due to the market rising. So I can't really gauge that, but here again, up. You know, I said it was kind of a really that wasn't that great of a bull flag here on the 15 because it went over and it failed, popped back up, and again you got nothing here. I see nothing um, other than this curling up, getting ready to pop and take something up with it. Again, what's it going to be? Probably the um, a pop with the uh, um, the green positive one. It's already up there positive di line so again i i think we're going to get a pop tomorrow if they manipulate the numbers and uh i think the pop will go up here clear the stops and that's it and then i think it'll tank that's what i'm thinking and you look at the 60 here it did put in the lower trough low like i thought it would in the video i did yesterday and uh so if it pops up here runs up sets it up for uh selling off the rest of the day rolls it over again pops up rolls it over same thing, you know, everything's what it's pointing to. Um, daily chart, up, sideways consolidation, bull flag, boom, up, then failed. It wouldn't be so bad if it was down lower, it'd be a successful bull flag, but when you're already up at a top, trying to get the bull flag to go really high up is, is hard to do. You, it just It's already exhausted its move up. So it's kind of like here, the rows up, sideways consolidation, um, and it never even fulfilled it. It just sold off. So that's very possible. If they don't manipulate the numbers tomorrow, it's very possible we could start with a big down day tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to, uh, you know, they're at this point now. I, I just feel like they want to they clear these stops out before they tank it. So manipulation of the, of the initial claims numbers would be the ideal thing and continuing claims to where they ain't so bad. And uh, you pop up, clear those stops. Then you put out a bad non-farm payroll reports on Friday and you tank it down and you hit our fake print of uh, 107 area 1070 nice big down day that's what I'd like to see and like to see this piece of crap roll over it's very very tiring weekly here as you can see same thing we're going up here we've hit the um, 
hit the 20 moving average and we're banging on it all week and we hit it last week too so you know is it going to go up here and clear it and go on uh, is it going to be more like one of these weeks here where, where they were crisscrossing and it cleared it a little bit and one or two weeks and then boom big sell off uh, I think we're looking at a sell off um, maybe even next week uh, I think it's going to come I think we're going to see it first first bit of it on Friday I do think the non-farm payrolls are going to be bad and I think we should sell off some. And um, and then here we are. Like, yeah, we're getting up close to that 50 I thought we was going to get to. But it's close, folks. It's close. So, um, you know, hang in there for the you bears and you bulls. Well, good luck on that. Uh, I'll be bailing quickly because we ain't got much further to go. We're 80 to 90% done with this move up, I do believe. So, all right. See you guys tomorrow.